I'm in Worcester today. Different town, different things to see. They have a beautiful river, lots of birds, lots of cyclists. Today I'm looking for characters. Well-dressed folks, people with their own sense of style, color, anything like that. Cold, still cold, a little bit of a wind chill going on. Always adds a degree of difficulty to stuff. We out here, we getting it in, we doing it. walking along, I see this impeccably dressed guy and I just have to take his portrait. I walk over and I say, hey, can I take your photo? You look amazing. And guess what? He says yes. So I did. I look up and I see these two older women coming towards me and they stick out like a sore thumb. I mean, this town is pretty bland right now until they walk onto the scene and they're looking pretty extra. The lady on the left has a wig on and it shows. She's preening herself, really self-aware. Her friend's got leopard print on and what looks like a fur coat, like it's too cold even to be wearing what she's wearing, but she's got these gloves on, she's shivering. Her makeup is over the top and they're walking with purpose and intention. They're going somewhere. I'm like, where could you possibly be going at two o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon? This is certainly, you're not going to a business meeting. What is it, you're gonna meet the ladies for lunch, well, but it's past lunch. You gonna meet you, 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 like a, on a double date? I don't know, but like it just really made me think I had to get the picture. So I look up and look around and what do I see? But this gentleman over here. And again, he's someone that doesn't look like everyone else in the town. I mean, he's really doing the most with his whole cyclist shtick. So he's got like all the gear he's got the shoes he's got the pants he's got the coat he's got the backpack he's got the colorful shades on and cracks out his phone really looking like a man about town and he just looks like a walking ad for cyclist magazine or something and i see that he's about to set off on his bike so i run forward preemptively and and kind of post myself up in front of this store accessorize and as he cycles through with all his accessories on it just felt like a match made in heaven. So something that we've seen more and more of in the UK is teen moms. And I always think, where are the fathers? Well, here they are, apparently. I see these two guys coming down the street. This guy's coming down with his mate who's smoking a cigarette as they push this kid in a pram who I assume is one of these lads' son. And it just really struck me. You just never see scenes like this. And I just knew I had to get this shot. I mean, look at these guys. They're probably late teens to early 20s max. But this guy's a dad now. This is happening. This is not a drill. And he's, he's showing responsibility. Kudos to him. Yeah. Life. So I look up. I look in the window. I see a mannequin. White hair yellow coat, black leather bag, black pants. Who should I see coming down the street but an older woman, white hair, yellow coat, black leather bag, black pants. I just had to get this picture. It's almost as if this is the story of what happens to this young mannequin 30 years later. She's still the same woman, still rocking the same style, but this is what she looks like. So this town wasn't very busy. I think I just picked a bad day midweek in a small town to go street shooting. So I had to find a way to create something. So I went up to these traffic lights and put my phone up against this wall on a ledge and just waited for something good to happen. And for ages, nothing good happened. And then this lady came across and she looks across at the right time. She's on her phone, some lovely backlight on her hair. And I think she's nicely framed between the car and this wall. Although I'm not sure about the person with the gray hair in the background. I feel like they're kind of ruining my shot because it feels like this leads to them. But yeah, all in all, I thought it was an interesting shot, so I kept it. So now I'm just tired. I need a coffee. I need a slice of cake. 
and I see this awesome triangle as I'm looking down. I whip out my phone because there's this smartly dressed gent down there and I'm like, yeah, let's take a picture of this guy because I'm always on, right? And I think also why I needed a break is because it was pretty tough going shooting in this town. I could tell the people I was really standing out myself. I was almost part of the center of attention in some ways. It's like the people could tell I wasn't from there and it just ruined my whole game. I was too visible. Like the whole point is to be as gray and invisible as possible. But I was just, I myself was someone I might have taken a photo of if I was a street photographer. So yeah, there's that. So I'm in the coffee shop now and I look out the window. I see a musician playing down below. I decide, yeah, I'm gonna do my soil lighter thing and shoot through the glass. And I then decide, let me focus on the actual glass itself. And that is when I realize how filthy this glass is. And if you're from the UK, you can probably just make out what cafe this is. And I'm not going to mention them, but these guys need to step up their cleaning game. All in all, I don't mind the photo. It's reflective of what actually happened on the day. And I think we've got some decent aspective views going on there. So you can actually tell these are people walking down below. So I think it's pretty cool. I like it. Oh, look, it's Barbara. Yeah, Barbara is this old lady that's coming down the street. And I'm in this lonely alleyway. I've decided to move away from the high street, even though that's where most of the action is happening. And by most of the action, I mean a very little action. But anyway, I walk into this alleyway. Very little is happening, but along comes Barbara. And as she's coming along, some man that she recognizes from somewhere stops her in the street and they have a really long, loud conversation, which is where I find out that her name is Barbara. And when they finish, I'm just waiting patiently. And when they finish, she's coming down the street and I start taking my shot. And an exchange happens between us. She thinks I'm, she's in my way. Oh, shall I move out of your way? She says in her old shaky voice. And she's so cute and sweet. I'm like, no, don't worry. Um, you're not really my shot at all. I obviously wasn't going to say you are my shot, but yeah, I just thought I should capture young Barbara as she's going about her daily chores. Yeah. Now, I don't know what it is about barber shops that I just love, especially if they're very vintage looking. The more traditional they look, the more enticed I am by them. So I'm just, I just walked up to the glass as odd as it felt and looked and started trying to take my shot. Look at that awesome leather chair look at that awesome stripy cloth that boy is wearing this man with his scissors and the apron on ah i just love this look this thing is what i'm all about i'm here for this so as i'm walking along i see this really cool guy sitting outside the cafe vaping drinking his coffee as you do and i just walk up to him hey guy you look really cool he looks like a rock star to me I'm thinking he's too big for this town. What is he doing here? You gotta get out of this town, right? And so I ask him, can I take your photo? And he's really agreeable and allows me to take the shot. So I do a quick shot, get down low, snap it. And what I really love about this photo is the reflections in the glass. So you can see the other side of the street. It just turns it into much more of a cool portrait for me. Hey, so that's the end of that video. If you made it this far thanks for sticking it out you my friend are a true ride or die and i i think i need to give you like a massive shout out on my next video if you're still here so if you're still here at the end of this video leave me a comment down below and i'm, I'm gonna definitely shout you out on my next video because i doubt anyone could have made it this far obviously this is my first foray into actual street photography trying it out i've not long been doing street pho photography um, I'm obviously a student of photography. I know a lot about photography and I've done photography in other capacities and I study a lot of classic street photographers, but going out there and actually doing it myself, that's a whole new experience to me. And typically I've always done that within the context of a group. So this Worcester shoot was my first time breaking away from the safety net of a group and kind of just going it alone and so yeah a lot of things to learn there 
I think, first and foremost, the weather is always a thing. I find it just really hard to think anyway when the weather's chilly. And so I'm never at my best and my fingers are always freezing. And that just, it's just irritants that get in the way of like just the process. And I think when we went to Worcester, my lady and I, because she was doing the filming, I obviously became part of the spectacle myself, which is counterintuitive because you're supposed to be as invisible and as gray as possible. But I could tell that people were like checking me out. Ah, but anyway, so those are just things to learn. Um, but overall, really awesome experience. Met lovely people. People will allow you to take their portrait in the streets. I'm always really warmed and encouraged by that. Um, so if anyone that I have taken a photo of is seeing this video, thank you so much for, for being so cool about it. And um, yeah, I think it's, it can only get better. I'm going to learn a lot more. I want to try out a few more things. I've already done a bunch of other street um, escapades, if you will. Um, so this video is coming to you, but I've already done a bunch of other street things after this point. So stick around to see how things go, basically. Um, if you're not doing street photography and you're a photographer, you should probably try it. It's, it's pretty awesome. And if you already are doing it, let me know. Like, are you online somewhere? Is your work out there? Let me see it and I will definitely visit it and kind of see what I can learn from you as well. So, yeah. Um, until the next time, keep watching and take care.